I like how you've broken this down, the discussion down into kind of like into different segments of doubt, because I think that's that's helpful even as a grid if you're trying to help someone. But it's also it's a reminder when we think about apologetics or pastoral care or about it impacting people. It's that we're dealing with holistic beings, mm. and even as we talk and we break that up, of course, all of those are intertwined. And it's it's often we can't like somebody saying, "Well, I just have this intellectual problem." Well, it's not merely an intellectual problem, and or you know, it's we're these holistic embodied beings, mm-hmm. and all of it goes together. And so, and so as we're d- keeping that in mind. And so, and keeping the, these different things that are going on, emotional issues, uh, that we're desiring beings. Mm-hmm. I often, as students at Liberty, we go through and we look at how, how marketers try to persuade people through, um, through treating us as desiring beings, and they're very effective. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're worshiping something, and there's idols at play in our heart, and all of these things are going on and, and, and impact how humans think and why we choose. And a lot of times it's below the surface level. And so just to treat somebody who's doubting or who's skeptical as just one-dimensional beings, is it's, it's a one-dimensional apologetic. And we need, we need multiple-dimensional <laughs> apologetic to treat multiple-dimensional people, if I got that out right. Yeah, yeah and, and that's the thing about having those multiple dimensions in your apologetic aware you know, in play is that the gospel is multidimensional. Yeah. Right. If you have if you have the good news at the center of your of your of your of your apologetic, you're taking into account the fact that, you know, Jesus came to save body, soul, mm-hmm. heart, all however many dimensions you want to carve up. <laughs> the gospel is a social implications, it has sociological, sure. historical, emotional, um, all the different levels at which humans can be addressed, Jesus does. Yeah. address them and there are apologetic dimensions involved in those and the gospel speaks to those yeah. if you press deep enough into it yeah and so oftentimes one of the most important things um, people can treat the gospel as you know one of those you can treat it like a form like a magic formula if I just if I just quote first Corinthians 15 you know three or four at you enough times mm-hmm. you'll convert um, it's not that but but at the same time, it's a powerful message. It is the it's the it's the power of God unto salvation, mm-hmm. uh, both in just ordinary proclamation, but also in tearing down the the arguments and the strongholds, which are not just argument based, uh, that, that would set themselves up against the authority yeah. and power of God and the truth of God. And the truth of God wins out. I mean, it, it is the center of what we're doing. It's, yeah. it's the content and the method and, and everything.